Hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs, one of the instructors at PharmacyTechLessons.com, and this is another episode of the Ask PTL Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can get really, really good at pharmacy math so that you can pass your pharmacy technician exams. <laughs> you serious? Plus, make sure that you stay to the end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you access to some of the best practice tests that you can land your hands on. Oh my God! Hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs, an instructor at PharmacyTechLessons.com and since 2015, I am so happy to say that PharmacyTechLessons.com has helped over 10,000 students on their path to becoming pharmacy technicians. Now, like many students, I wanted to pass the PTCB exam, but math was very confusing for me. And because I was confused in my mind, I waited around and I studied math and I studied the math formulas for months and months and months. And in the end, I still ended up not making any progress. My biggest problem was I didn't have a clue how to know when to plug what numbers into certain formulas. And I certainly was unsuccessful with how to work word problems. Now, as many of you know, after I failed the PTCB exam the first time, I knew that something about my study method was totally off. I mean, it was all wrong. And really, now that I think about it, it didn't take me failing the first time before I knew this. I knew this when I looked at the actual exam in the middle of my exam and I saw those math problems that I had no clue how to do. I mean, it literally looked like a foreign language to me. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? One big thing that I was shocked about was that the problems on the exam were way harder than what I actually studied. And I mean, I purchased practice tests from online. I even purchased them from big testing companies. So I anticipated that I would sure enough be ready for the actual exam. From there, I started my journey to looking for the hardest pharmacy math problem ever that I could find because I wanted to know how to master any problem that they threw at me on the exam. It took me a while, but after the second time of taking the exam, I actually passed. Going through this process made me really realize that what you don't know can actually hurt you. What I didn't know the first time I took the exam hurt me. And it caused me to be stuck for over a year in failure. But after I got my hands on the right information, I thrived and of course I was no longer stuck. Knowing there was another way I could go about studying and learning the information for the test made me confident that I could get certified in a way that worked for me while I was in college and working a side job. When I looked at that exam the second time around, I had no doubt in my mind that I could work any problem that they threw at me on the exam. So here are some elements that I want you to focus on when it comes to pharmacy math. I first want you to challenge yourself, especially with the practice tests. Most students love doing these easy practice tests that don't challenge them at all or they're basically problems that they already know how to do so they're doing them over and over because it makes them feel good. But you actually need practice tests that are going to challenge you in areas that you aren't so good at in pharmacy math because once you get to the test, you'll be ready for the hardest problems that they can throw at you. The second thing I want you to do is pretty simple. I want you to practice a lot and practice very hard. The last thing that I want you to do, and this is very key and important, I want you to focus on your weak areas, not your strong areas. Now, as you probably already know, PharmacyTechLessons.com has a proven system that works for students who are trying to pass the PTCB or the EXCPT exam. We're here to help you no matter what level you're on. You could be a total beginner or you could be advanced. Maybe you've already done a program before and you ended up failing the exam. Well, it doesn't matter what level you're on, PharmacyTechLessons.com and their instructors can help you. So now let me tell you how you can go about getting your hands on these practice tests I was talking about. But first, I wanna share with you something from one of our past students, her name was Danielle. And she was one of the students that had the hardest time with math that came through our program. So when Danielle came to PharmacyTechLessons.com, she had no confidence when it came to pharmacy math. After going through the program, she became so good at pharmacy math 
that she not only passed the exam with flying colors, but she tutored and helped other students in our private community of over 500 technicians. Here's another PharmacyTechLessons.com student. His name is Abu, and Abu came to Pharmacy Tech Lessons on the day that he failed the exam. He was so sad, he was broken, and he was so embarrassed because the practice tests that he had purchased from the large testing companies were way easier than the actual exam questions. Needless to say, Abu is on the right track now, and he actually wants to pass the PTCB exam because he's going to be able to be a store manager once he gets his certification. So that's a great goal for Abu, and it's going to be a great success once he actually passes the exam. Now, if you're interested in the program, then send an email to pharmacytechlessons at gmail.com with the subject line, Ask PTL, and they will give you more information on the program. I personally guarantee you that like thousands of others that are studying for the PTCB exam, when you go through this program, you're going to have success. It's a lot easier and faster than any program that you can ever witness right now. All right, all right, all right. So since you stay to the end, of course, you know I'm going to give you the practice test. So click the link below and you're going to get access to challenging practice tests that will give you a good start in studying for your PTCB or EXCPT exams.